and I'm here to show you how Unit X is bringing supercomputing on demand to the world. Our team has over 25 years experience working on the world's biggest supercomputers. I used to design drones out of Houston, Texas for a small engineering firm, perform simulations to assess and improve the aerodynamics. Now, these simulations were massive. They would take up to six months on a desktop computer. We didn't have the money to buy large machines, nor the expertise to operate them. For the last eight years, I've been working on the other side with the big centers that own these supercomputers that are underutilized. Now there's demand and supply, but the two exist in different worlds. They don't talk to each other because there's no trust, there's no integrated software platforms, and the institutions lack a sales effort. That's where we come in. We work through our network with the institutions, partner with them, and build a software platform that's fully integrated, easy to use, where customers can come and compute. We promise them faster product designs, and we promise the institutions, utilizations, and higher KPIs. The market is big. It's $50 billion totally. Now, that includes AI, data analytics, as well as the product simulations. We focus on the product simulations, specifically in three industries, aerospace, automotive, and energy. Now, we got two competitors. Let me put it this way. If they were five-star hotels, then we are the Airbnb of supercomputing. We don't own our data centers. They do. We are far more agile, far more scalable. The customers pay us as they compute, and then the, the centers give us platform-based subscription fees. That's how we make our money. Now, we started in Jan as part of an incubator in Saudi Arabia in Kaust, and then since then, we have $13,000 in sales. We have early adapters who are both engineering firms as well as product manufacturers globally. We have a sales part. We are partnering with Rescale, who's a sales partner, and they are the biggest high-performance computing sales motion in the world. That ensures our demand. On the supply side, we got three institutions already totaling 100,000 processors. Now, to give you an idea, if you use all of that, in one year, we stand to make $92 million. That's how massive this is. We're looking for $550,000, which will go into platform development as well as staffing expansions. We are Unit X. We want to break the barriers for SMEs, enable them to design better products faster through supercomputing. Thank you. Judges, your questions, please. So who, who are your ideal customers? Who are you trying to sell into? And how, how does the sales process kind of look like? So right now, we are targeting the small and medium engineering firms, mostly in the US. A uh, lot of these shops that do jobs for the oil and gas industry, for the automotive sectors, aerospace. And right now, our sales channels are through uh, our network with these engineering firms. Uh, we are also partnering with Rescale, so that brings in a huge sales motion force there. And we want to start an uh, inbound digital marketing campaign, B2B as well, to, for longer term sustenance. What, what makes it hard for the Amazons and the Googles and the Microsofts of this world to, to sort of develop that side of their cloud offering? Right, so Amazon, AWS is actually our biggest threat. Um, Luckily, their focus is on more on business IT-based computing, not on high-performance computing. Now, HPC is more less than 1% of their focus. So if they do choose to focus, then that's actually one of our biggest threats, and we are aware of that. Okay. Yeah. How, how are you, besides being aware of that, are you doing anything to, to work around that or defend yourself against that? So we are, our plan is that in one year, uh, so again, we don't own our assets, so which is why being like an Airbnb really helps. Mm -hmm. So Amazon can throw in some force. They have economies of scale going. We are hoping we can gain more momentum out of this Airbnb kind of approach. So, okay. So, like, how does the integration when you like sell the product? How does it work? Like, is that cycle takes a long? And how do these companies adapt to this? How long does it take to put the service in place and uh, work it? The, the it's a platform as a service, right? So it's, once it's ready, it's ready. Anybody can come and use. So uh, most preeminent simulation softwares are already ported and hosted there, or docked, right? They come, they can use their own licenses, or we can get them on-demand licenses, and they just use, right? So the engineers are already using something they're very familiar with. All we do is they don't have the elasticity and the compute power in-house, so yeah. it's more agile IT for them, so they get rid of you know, in-house IT for all these needs. So I'm very confused. You said you own all your hardware. No, we don't. You, you don't. No. So, okay, so explain the, how does the Airbnb model come in? How does that part work? Because Well, 
Yes, so that's, um, so in the sense that there are these supercomputing centers who have approached us saying their utilizations are low and they want to find customers so that they can recover their OPEX and so on. So tomorrow, if let's say somebody decides to just mine crypto on there, where are you going to go? So you're saying somebody approaches directly the supercomputing exactly. centers and mine to crypto? Exactly, to those people and start well, so, mining. Okay, so I, I can tell this confidently that the supercomputing centers actually told us uh, we are letting you use this. They put some uh, criteria on place, says no crypto mining. So they were actually quite explicit about this, yeah. So, I mean, there, there's few things they are not open to. One is uh, running defense jobs on there, and the second is crypto, so. But then your defense contractors and all of those are the biggest players in the market, right? So yes. it's a matter of as long as somebody, like a lot of Airbnbs also say no partying, right? But then if somebody pays yeah, the money. True, true. Okay. We'll be ready. Thank you. Thank you.